So I'm trying to get bait fish and all I keep getting is all these cork fishes. Can't use these as bait for obvious reasons. So this, this is my luck with bait fish today. Getting the pork fish, getting tiny little yellow tails. It's just my luck today. What's up, man? Thanks, man. There's a big school of them down here. Huh? Oof. All right guys, funny story. As soon as I caught that jack you just saw, I saw the school down under the bridge over here and I went to go throw the uh, the little gotcham again and I just hooked myself real nice in the arm with the treble hook on the gotcham. Uh, I don't even know if I was filming to be honest with you. It didn't hurt, but I think I was panicking a little and because of the panic, I got really lightheaded, but it didn't hurt at all and I had uh, a uh, random guy here in the pier just yank it out for me like uh, you're supposed to do if you if you search YouTube for like the little how to remove the hook uh, using a line trick I don't even know what it's called but that's what we did uh, I'll check the video later and uh, see if I, I recorded it or not there's two giant kudas right here guys Let's see if I could get them Uh, they're going right towards my bait. Let's see if they take it though. I don't got a wire leader on there either, so. Let's see what happens. I don't see them anymore. I don't see my bait either, so. I don't know where they went. Probably straight up ignored my shit. Oh. He's gay, velho. Nossa, olha, quatro parracuda aqui, ó. Nossa, criança, pega! Agora. Ah, espantou ela. Tá merda! E uma delas vai me pegar. Alright guys, so welcome to a voiceover. I haven't done one of these yet on these videos. So 
Yeah, decided to bring this jack home, do a little catch and cook. It was the only fish I caught on that day. Uh, aside from myself, I got that hook in the arm that the guy helped me take off. But yeah, I caught a jack a couple weeks ago, didn't bring it home. Uh, my dad wanted to try it. He was kind of, not angry, but he was, he, he was kind of mad I didn't bring it home. So I brought this little guy home. Figured he'd be a little better eat than the bigger ones. So yeah, I just filleted him up here, and I'm not the greatest at filleting, as you can see. Uh, I only recently started filleting fish. I usually don't bring them home. I mostly catch and release, but every now and then I'll bring a fish home. And so yeah, so hopefully with this channel, my my uh, filleting skills will will get a lot better. Uh, as you can tell, I, I know what I'm doing kind of a little bit, but uh, not as much as I would like. As you can see in the other fillet there in the background, I, I missed a little bit uh, of head meat. But, yeah, now I know. I mean, I felt around for the head meat, but uh, didn't quite get there. And, yeah, and you're really going to see it in here how, how bad I was at taking off the skin. I even uh, missed some meat while uh, getting the, the skin off here. But that just comes with uh, practice, and uh, the more I do it, the better I'll get at it. And you can see all that blood right there on the skin. I'll flip the fillet over a little bit later so you can see how much blood is on there. But yeah, even the second time around here, I still kind of messed it up. And then here on the second one, I had a little trouble again. Uh, this one I found a little bit harder to get the skin off than I did the snapper last week, but it wasn't too bad. I also missed a lot of meat on there too. And then I just went back over it after I got the skin off, uh, removed some extra skin that was left on there. And as you can see, it's pretty bloody. The bloodline there is pretty big compared to some other fish. And there was some bone left there and the, some backbone left on the fillet, but you you usually get that when filleting other fish too. So I removed that which took out a big chunk of the bloodline and yeah I just started going over it to get as much as the thick blood off as much as possible and a lot of the skin was left over too because like I said my filleting ain't that great but I was surprised at how at how hardy the meat is. It's very very uh... how do I say it's not mushy I guess it's a very hearty piece of fish it's not soft at all got some pretty nice pieces here and then I started working on the other side on the other fillet and I got the backbone out again and took off some more of the excess skin again and yeah my my fillet knife even though it's pretty sharp it's not the greatest in the world uh, can't really tell you what brand it is because I have no idea I've had it for over like eight years here's me removing another thick blood section here but yeah as you can see the meat not too bad once you get get it cleaned up get all the uh, the bloodline out and and everything so here I decided to bake it so what I did I just poured some olive oil inside the uh, aluminum foil there and rubbed the fillets around in it a little bit then I added some pink Himalayan salt uh, I don't know why but let's go with the pink Himalayan salt some black pepper added some black pepper to the fillets I did this on both sides uh, got some garlic powder in there and I also added some onion powder as well so came out pretty good and like I said I did it to both sides here and I had the oven preheated to uh, 390 degrees and as you can see here I folded the aluminum foil in just a little bit and to keep the juices in and I'm not sure how long I keep it in kept it in there it was probably about 10 to 15 minutes but once it was ready I pulled it out added some lemon juice to it and transferred it to the plate alright guys so I got the jack out of the oven uh, I'm not sure why I'm hesitant about eating this fish. I've eaten this fish before, 
I believe when I was younger and I remember enjoying it. Uh, and like my dad says, every fish is edible. So I'm not sure why I'm kind of hesitant about it. But let's go ahead, stop talking, and bite straight into it. There's a, there's a piece right there. It's not focusing. Right there, there we go. Uh, it looks like any other fish, you know. So let's go ahead and uh, try it out. Oh man, I think I there's a little fishy taste to it, a little bit. Uh, it's understandable, it's a very bloody fish, uh, bloody meat on there, but I took out all the bloodline took out as much as the blood as I could but still pretty good uh, doesn't doesn't look like I overcooked it or anything it kind of reminds me of a uh, almost of a cooked tuna in a sense you know like I don't know definitely not like a snapper or anything but man and this the way I cooked it too <laughs> very good very good Oh yeah, definitely like that. Very uh, it's not quite focusing, but yeah. The lemon juice helps a little bit with the uh, the fishiness of it, but and it's not like an overpowering fishy taste either. It's right there at the end, you know, in the aftertaste, but aside from that, you know what's crazy? It, I said it tasted like tuna, but now that I'm biting into it a little bit more, it maybe I did overcook it a little bit, but it almost tastes like chicken, <laughs> as corny as that sounds. But, yeah, not too bad. I, uh, I left a couple pieces for my dad, because he's the reason I brought it home. I got the huge jack a few weeks ago, and he was kind of mad I didn't bring it home, so I'm definitely going to let him try this out and uh, see what he says. It's definitely different uh, different from the snapper I brought home the other day, too, so he's de he's definitely going to know the difference between the two fishes. So, uh, yeah, thanks for making it this far, guys. If you made it to this point in the video, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it, and uh, as always, thank you for watching.